Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I was telling you, man, I was talking to my son, and he was like, hey. I know, man, I know. Who produced the track? My uh, boy, Dreek. Had a lot of guitar players coming in. Okay. Always come out to you, girl, like the love of me. Stay next to you, girl, like the love of me. I wanna move back home to Alabama, but can't leave the A like the letter B. I'm hey. sick and tired of arguing about the same shit. Tired of your insecurities. What they gon' fly to me? I'm gonna be regardless. I'm gonna be like a diamond in your ring. Yeah. Turn I'm gonna be the same, the same shit. The way you told me not to hang with it. Hey, when I went to see in California, I would party, party, hit the games with it. Oh, no, I don't always agree with you. Tobias Tatum off in here, man. Brand new joint call forever. How about we go into this one too? KO's brand new joint. Don Witter. Both of them in the studios. We're going to be talking to them coming up in a couple of seconds, man. Say what's up, brothers. What's happening? Yeah, man, we're going to talk to them coming up. Stay with us, man. Power 94. Yeah, I got 
TKO Tobias Tate in the building right now as we speak. You heard that forever joint. This one done with her. Two cats is making it seriously happen. I uh, understand you just got back from LA. Still a little bit uh, exhausted, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Welcome to the studios, man. Man, happy to be here, man. It is all good. Congratulations on, on everything. We're just talking about certain things that you got going on. Uh, to buy stuff that you got going on, just uh, let us know about this one because this one is pretty big, man. When you're talking about giving back to the kids, giving back to the community, you got oh, a yeah. lot to give. You're talking 35 million records. Man. That's a lot of knowledge, man. Man, look here, man. Yes, yeah, it's, it's so many things, man, going on uh, between the project and everything else. And then, you know, I'm gonna tell you, bro, a lot of people are wondering, like, where did KO go? Like, I never went anywhere. I just shifted my energy to make a difference and pour into these young ones and yeah. that led to me creating bridge the gap which bridge the gap is uh it's our nonprofit, but it's also a textbook that we created that's now an online course that teaches character building and life skills through music um megan good and myself teaches the course via um video shout out to megan good wow. you know and um tobias is of course an ambassador with it so we've been serving the kids and and making a difference and just meeting them where they are you know what i mean yeah yeah, that, that's a cool thing, man, because a lot of cats don't have, you know, I don't want to say the time, but you, you make the time, but it's just important that people on your level give back. And a yeah. lot of cats don't do not do that for whatever reason. It's just cool that we want to commend you just for, for the give back, man. Yeah, so thank you. That's a big thing. How did you get your start in this, in this whole game? Because you... You're OG in the game. Yeah, man. One of the forefathers of this trap music, man. We, I mean, you know, born in Los Angeles, raised in Montgomery, Alabama. You know, that's home. Um, and, you know, just on the grind, man, being a, a lover of all music. And um, just grinding, man. I was doing everything. I was rapping before making beats. And then, you know, the, the production side took off for me. So I ended up, you know, of course, getting up with T.I. and yeah. in the earlier time and, you know, helping being a part of blowing up, you know, the whole the Grand Hustle movement, and uh, okay. and it just kind of it just went from there. You know, did the Why You Want to Go and Do That for Tip, went on to produce 
Last for Dying Breed with Jeezy, and that led to producing for Jay Z, Rick Ross, uh, Snoop Dogg, Ludacris, uh, Wayne. The list goes on. Grammy you know Award I mean? nominations, the whole nine, all no that doubt. stuff's coming with. That's that's cool, man. Yeah. That is real cool. Tobias, dude, the record is nice, man. Thank you. Thank you. It is really nice. How did it just start? Um, being around one of the fathers of the hip hop. One, <laughs> one of the homies. Yeah, one of the homies. But I just always love music. You know, I play ball like yourself. Yeah. As an athlete, so you know, music was the thing that like kept me at peace. You know what I mean, kept me humble, kept me grounded. And, like whenever like I'd be mad on the court, I just go do some music or something. Yeah. You know, my mama would whip my tail. You know, I just go do some music. You know, it was peaceful. I could get your tail spanked a couple times, and mama whoop you. Oh, that. Hey. That mama love. Yeah, mama love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That mama, mama love. Ain't like my niece. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, and I just stuck with it, man. I just I just love music. I like it. Coming up, who who are some of the uh, the people that you listen to that um, inspired you? I listen, I definitely listen to K.O. and Dirty Boys back okay. at home. Oh, um, well, yeah, that's a given. Yeah. Uh, um, Jay-Z, you know, Jay-Z, the tips, and people yeah. like Outkast came with you. whole Southern yeah. sound, man. It's southern sound. Like, you know, something about that Southern sound is just yeah. we're grounded, but we let you know. You feel me? Like, hey, we don't play. Which was funny, though, because we were looking at the uh, at the, the NBA draft, and they yeah. asked a lot of the cats that were born in, like, 99, yeah. 2000. They they know they showed them pictures of our okay. boys. Yeah, you saw that. It was like, who is that? Oh, I don't know. That's, That's crazy. crazy. You know, man, well, maybe maybe they've heard it, but they just didn't. Yeah, but it, but you gotta understand. Around when we was graduating high school, they was just being born. You know what I'm saying? So, no doubt. So yeah. it's kind of it's, it's crazy. So I I get it though. Right? Yeah, I get it. So. Yeah. So the new project, man. Let's talk about that. When when, when did that start and come about? Because you. You got your hands in so many things. Right, right. You know, how do you find the time, or when is, is there a perfect time, or how does that work for you? You know, um, really, the it all came back full circle. So the very thing that I took a break from to actually serve and help the community mm -hmm. brought me right back into music. Mm -hmm. um, um, a donor donated a, a large amount of uh, money to a nonprofit, and I got to meet this brother and. He was telling me about this band called Bad Brains, and I had never heard of them. And they were a rock band, and they were the founders of punk rock, but they were all black. They were brothers. I had no clue of this. Hmm. So at that point, you know, got to get up and chop it up with them, and they were like, you know, we want our legacy to live on. And that led to me taking their whole catalog and then chopping and sampling little pieces of punk rock and actually turning it into this hip hop masterpiece, which is called Bad Brains Forever, to hmm. really show and pay homage to Bad Brains for what they've done to the music game. And, um, and you know, at that point I brought, you know, called up everybody and we brought in everybody. Everybody was excited, you know, our KO's back on this side of things, you know, to make it happen. But, yeah. and, you know, that's when everything came in. So we ended up now 60 artists, right? 15 wow. records. I'm talking the biggest artists in the game. And, and it's like my Quincy Jones project. We right. won't even call it none of, none of the like um, collaborate, like, you know, it's not like no collaboration or no um, compilation project. It's it's a work of art to where mm -hmm. I pick the right artists and produce the tracks to where every track has one of the, some of the hottest artists along with the legend. So yeah. I want to bridge that gap as well yeah. with, with our legendary artists and the young artists feeling like there's a, a you know, divider there. So, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's crazy, man, you yeah. know. So, right. so, at, at what point was the was the seed dropped into the soil for this type of thing? Because you, you think about it, you think of all of the records that you produce, all of the artists mm -hmm. that you that you started working with. At, at, did you know in the beginning that this is something that you the give back was coming? You just didn't know when it was going to happen. You know, it was it was always in me. Yeah. Just from where we from, like it was always in us, you know. But. What hit me was really my father. That was the tipping point. You know, my dad would always say, "Don't be, don't just be successful. Be significant. Leave a legacy behind." And after he passed away, I really this was in the height of my career. Like I just did the tip, Jay Z record stuff was really there, and I'm like, it's just hit me. Like, man, okay, I'm successful, but what do I do to become significant? Like. And then things weren't as exciting anymore. So I'm at award shows, That's and it's just crazy. like, okay, you know, same yeah. Hollywood stuff. It's like, what's next? Yeah. And then it was an award show I was being honored at, and the president of Martin Luther King's organization, SCLC, Dr. Steele, came to this award show and apologized to all of us in the room for not passing the torch. 
and said it was a lot we can learn from each other. And that's when I realized our generation is so busy chasing money, we were repeating that process. Right. So that lit the fire in me to create Bridge the Gap. And then we created Cool Curriculum, which is literally produced over 600 songs, kindergarten through 12th grade, aligned to the common core, everything they need to know in math, yeah, science, social studies, and English through hip hop and music videos. Oh man! You know, received crazy. a lifetime achievement award from President Obama before he left, and it was you know. So it's been a lot of things done that I wasn't doing for the clout of for the media to see, but just serving and doing what needed to be done. Yeah. You know, so and that's why I'm so excited about the next the single too. You know, being able to connect with yeah. Nipsey Hussle and and with, with what he was about with the community, and you know, oh, man. and um, you know, it was only right that we you know we made it happen. We just got back from LA. I took my son out there for for the weekend, and just to see the magnitude of it's one thing to see the Nipsey story on TV, and but once you get out there and you start, you know, realizing how much of an impact this cat had, it's crazy. It's a, it's crazy. It's a crazy thing, man. All right, we're gonna pay some bills. Can you guys hang out for a little bit? Yeah, we yeah, man. All right, man, hang out with us, man. Power ninety four WJTT. Home of the Ricky Smile, the morning show. What's happening? Who that Luke? Oh, I know Luke's going. There you go. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, happy right now. Oh, what you got on here? What's up, Luke? Sis? What up, Jay? Yeah. Hey. Like on Facebook. Yeah. Right? Um, let's see. Yeah. We got. Uh, all right, we got Cuz up. Man, do you have to come on here? Same idea. Champ, I'm gonna hit you as soon as I get up out of here, bro. You already know, Nato. What we do? Hey, mama. What's happening? Working. Who that? Everybody here. Oh. Kept saying, what it do, y'all? TJ, Andrew, what's happening? Hey, sure, what's up, you? Oh, you already know, Reed. So, hey, well, what up, bro? Let's see, Antonio, what's happening, brother? Thank you, bro. I need to add some more people. Edwin, what's up, brother? You ain't in Mexico, are you? <laughs> Turn up, Edwin. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be out. Where am I? I'm gonna be out there. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be in Cancun somewhere coming up. Next. I ain't trying to go nowhere over the type of water right now. <laughs> Oh, with uh, like the DR. Yeah, it's true. It's true. They said yeah, tourism dropped seventy four percent. I bet. I bet. I bet. Yeah, I ain't going over there to die. Right. So it was a, it was one more dude that just passed. Yeah, he died yesterday. Black dude. Rick Rock, my homie. Damn. What the heck? In the DR, you know people been drinking hey. alcohol. And Big money. homie Rick Rock. Oh, no. Congratulations on that album, like brother. Like my brother, man. Yeah. Jip! Yeah, yeah. You heard it yet? Hard. Man, oh man. China, what's happening? Zach, what it do? Thank you, bro. Oh, yeah. Hey, what, uh, what's the name? Jerry Smoker. What are they up to now, man? Man, I think Jerry's still on. Is this not the Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No problem. He's still in the A. He's working at uh, one of the other stations. One of the old school joints, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Tobias. Jerry Smoker. I haven't charge. seen that cat in a minute. Shout out to Jerry Smoker. B. Big home. Uh, Cersei. Cersei. Yeah, Cersei's in there. Yeah, I think he's at B. Yeah, Cersei's at B. Yeah. No, you know Ryan, where he ain't no more there? Yeah. Ryan is at, uh... Ryan at B. Right back at what's happening? He's at, uh, what's the other station? The Adult Station. Yeah, he's right. Adult Station. Sure. Oh, I forgot. What'd he do? Oh, man, I can't remember. What'd he got over here? It's Magic. They say he was making it. It went to Magic, and then Frank came back. We walk on the track. Yeah, what's happening, homie? She got rid of Wanda. It is. Yeah, so Frank got some new kids. Wow. Uh, 
behind the post where you broke it. See the pistol. You better pass it out of state. Me ain't even pistol. I don't see the crystal. Let a hoose run in the DFP. My young guy's a booster dope behind the PS3. Lubricated the game and now we turn her up. Never take a trip with a demon and never done enough. Never been the type with a homie that made the fuck me up. Play in the trap of the bell when a bitch trust me up. Once I get this young rich gang ready, got a rest of bell out before I hit the station. Oh. Back to the spot, we wait deep on a rock. We gon' fight and shoot, whether it's even or not. I'm just a Broadway baby, young Broadway Texas, and drive on the real, so I ain't no enemy saving. Hey, so please break it. Dirty keys, cleaning my pistol and eating sunflower seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 I said, I'm going to get a manager. So to leave me alone, I'm on the side. taste of the album though man it's a, like i said it's a work of art you know and like you said you you put the you put the call out and then they just everybody just it was just one of those things that you couldn't explain where everybody comes in and everybody's cool yeah, everybody it, it moved fast like i was able i did the tracks for the album in 12 days okay for the whole album and then at that point once the beats was done i sat down and said okay i want to go here i want a record that's going to be for the east coast I want a record that's going to give the West back just that that feel, you know. Yeah. And, you know, I got stuff for everybody. And at that point, started reaching out to the artists. We all came together, and everybody was just moving. We pretty much had a bucket of album done with that many artists in less than six months. Wow. Yeah. So was all of this done in L.A., or everybody was all over the place? Really all over the place, because when you're dealing with this many, you know, this many it. artists, it's... it's yeah. It's one of them things where I'm sending the record. But the cool thing about Unify was nobody heard the finished product until the end. Oh, wow. Yeah, so like when it released, that's, that's when a lot of the though. artists. Yeah. So everybody was just excited. It was cool. Like like I got word, like um, the big homie Ice-T had gotten up with Snoop not too long ago, and they were just excited because you would think that they, they hadn't even, I think that was the first time they had met each other. They were really excited, and Ice-T was like, yo, you know we on that record together. He's like, what? He's like, the KO record. Like, oh, you know, yeah, he's excited. Yeah. So it was just cool to see how I was able to bring artists together that hadn't even never worked, worked together. together. That you would think that they would have worked yeah, together. Right. Because, yeah. I mean, Ice-T's a, I mean, he's oh, the OG, man. 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 There's no, a lot of egos on his album, but he made it work. Yeah. <laughs> but, but see, that's the cool part, though. When, cool. You, when you have cats coming in that they lit it verse and then they're out, and then they don't hear it until it's, like, done. Right. That's love. Right. And this yeah. was needed. Like this was, I feel like this was needed on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's this, was, this was on, this needed. Like this was needed. Like, MC verse, bro. That's, that's crazy. crazy. This like, has the family reached out. Yeah. To just to you know. Yeah, you know, I think we've gotten yeah we've gotten some good support, and then you know 
shout out to Sam, you know, Neil's brother, because he was actually hands on on putting it putting it together, you know, originally. And um, it was just one of them things, man, to where, you know, Nip, you know, he shouted out Bridge the Gap, my nonprofit, and it was just a real, it was it was really dope. And, you know, I'm happy for what has happened in hip-hop, you know. It's, you know, it's so many people who leave this earth and, and it, but with Nip leaving and creating the ripple effect, the changing the way people look at things when it comes to hip-hop. Like, there's been a switch and people don't know it. Yeah. When Nip passed, it made it cool to do good things in the community again. Yeah. It yeah. made it cool to be positive, and people was like, I respect that, compared to getting shot a bunch of times or locked up to get street cred. Yeah. So there's been a wave that's changed, and I just want to make sure that all us know, like, we got to we gotta do more for the community, man. Yeah. When he started putting out uh, this information on what he, had, had, he had been reading, and he, he read one book called, uh, I think it was Political Economy, and... He had a whole list of books that I put on my on my IG. So I said, "Yo, if y'all want to get up on the game, you want to you want to contribute to the culture. Start reading some of this stuff and start getting into the mindset of some of these cats that's doing. You know, Jay Z's throwing out money to help people out for right, startup right, businesses right, right. and entrepreneurs and the whole nine. So you've got your thing going on. So oh yeah, it's it's definitely it's happening. Power to people. It's power to the people. Amen. It is definitely happening, man. Um, people want to follow you. People want to see what's going on." You got some people that want to get involved with what you have happening. Okay. Let everybody know exactly what's going on, man. All right, well, on that end, you know, on the IG, it's K-H-A-O Music. So that's K-H-A-O Music on the IG end. Tobias, none of yours? Oh, ladies, I'm Sable, too. Um, <laughs> Tobias, T-A-B-I-U-S, T-A-T-E. Just throw that in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, about to shoot another re reality show, you know. Y'all just tuning in. And Yo, forever when, not long enough. When, when are you doing that? I'm um, working shooting the pilot right now, so. Well, good deal. Chill. You oh, got yeah. the cameras, you got everything we need, so we shooting the pilot, oh, yeah. cameras, and film. That's work. We got the film so company. Yep, so mm -hmm. it's. Uh, and I'm, I'm hitting every city up trying to find all the latest talent. So if you got talent in the chat, follow my IG, KRIG, we, we working. And also, we got the distribution company, too, KMG Digital. So we provide opportunities giving worldwide distribution deals to our up and coming. Right. You know, I even have the KO Music Vault where we can get just up and coming artists can actually get beats from me, lease them, and we'll, I'll actually provide opportunities to get them placed in movies. Like, it's all about, one thing about us, we come from the South, you know, it's, yeah. and ain't no strings attached. We're 100% independent, so it's all about the love and giving back to the people. That's what's up, man. man. Tobias Tate. Shout out to Tammy, too. KO in here, man. Appreciate y'all for taking the time out, man, because I know you cats are busy, but I just want to salute you because you're definitely uh, contributing to the culture, man. Yeah, for real. Thank you, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God bless you, man. More music is on the way. Hang out with us. Power 94 WJTT. Home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. What's happening? We got Pillar. We got Chris. What up, Cuzzo? Thank you, bro. Cali Wally. Oh, long enough. Every long enough. Long enough. <laughs> we need yeah. to, I need to come down there to the uh, old station down there. Right now, no, we can't. We ain't got you on over there, but it's all good. What's happening? What's up? What's up? Does you want to come and spend this out the rest of my job? You know I got to do it with us. You know it. Yeah, we got to do it with us. Yeah, we got to do it with us. Yeah, we got to do it with us. Yeah, we got to do it Hey, what up, bro? You gonna go back today? You gonna go to dance? I'm probably gonna eat. I just take some. Oh yeah, let's do it. What a good eatery! Good eatery spot. It depends on what you're looking for. We got a lot of new spots now. I'm so proud of my little city. So it depends on if you want soul food or you want bougie food. You want some seafood. You want? I can do some seafood. I don't really eat no chicken. I don't eat no beef, no pork, no turkey. Okay. Okay. Do some fish though. I like fish too. Real um, Is she out? What time is she out? Real Okay. Oh, she ain't really going to go to 